NJRoot22.com here with another cheap wine reviews uh, vlog. Um, I, I was I filmed it already and then I realized that I wasn't filming anything. The camera just shut off. Jesus, I forgot to press record. What a dope. Anyway, today we're talking about 19 crimes. The Uprising. It's a 15% uh, alcohol red wine blend out of Australia. And I went on and on in my previous take that never got recorded. Maybe I can make this one shorter. Anyway, first let me take a sip. Ah, that's my signature way of drinking. And I also have to drink a sip to tell you what it's all about. I said in my previous unrecorded video that, that there's another individual in the house here drinking this that is a little bit of a snob when it comes to wine and they liked it a lot. It was, it was uh, I guess, velvety and, and textured and it had more of, I guess, a wine taste. But we're, we're debating on whether it has additives or not because they don't even tell you the grapes or what kind of uh, brewing, uh, uh, fermenting process. I'm gonna taste this. Yeah, it's definitely not hobo wine. It's um, it seem, definitely seems more sophisticated. Whatever they did to make it that way, I don't really care. I just worry about how I feel the next day. So, one thing I wanted to say about this wine is mm -hmm. that it's, we're gonna be talking a little bit more about the other aspect of this wine, which is their ridiculously complex and unnecessary marketing uh, procedure or whatever that comes along with this. It's it's not just wine that you buy and enjoy. It's It has a whole package that comes with it. They have an app that you download and you take a picture of the bottle and it tells you a story about some criminal somewhere in the world. Um, oh, and they, the, the 19th... It, I'm not going to try and explain their marketing uh, program here it, it's it's not my that's not what my purpose is here but they they print uh there's a gimmick they print the crimes on on the, on the wine cork i mean it's it's like a whole marketing thing and what i said in my previous video i'll keep saying that because i, I i'm probably not going to be able to recreate the great uh, snappy uh, points i made but you can't just sell a bottle of wine anymore you have to sort of package something else with it does this add value to um, the whole experience, or is it just something that uh, that people now need to feel like they got more for their money? I mean, I, I mean, this is was an eight dollar ninety nine cent bottle of wine at Shoprite Liquors. I don't know what the going price is anywhere else. You buy it on their website. It's uh, one hundred and fifty dollars for twelve bottles. So you do the math. It's like eleven or twelve. 12 bucks a bottle. 12 times 12 is 144. So it's like 12, 12 and change a bottle. Um, but I can't find on their website, there's an ordinary web browser here I'm using. I can't find more about this wine. It doesn't tell me the grapes or anything other than it was part of this wine. A portion of this wine has been aged for 30 days in a rum barrel. It could be 1%. It could be a drop. I mean, that would be an accurate statement. I could put a drop of this wine in a rum barrel and put the drop back in. I, th this is what I mean. Like, a lot of stuff is incomplete these days. Like, come on, man, to tell a complete story. So, you can't really, their, their website isn't about wine. It's not about wine making. It's just a, a like this made up, like fictitious kind of concept somebody came up with. Now, notwithstanding, the wine, I think, actually tastes pretty good. Um, it's definitely better than a, than a Rex Goliath 13.5. Never drink the Rex Goliath 13.0. I told you I wasn't gonna mention it anymore, but that was like my my standard. Uh, so I had a theory that that the reason they need such like sophisticated um, packaging and marketing behind a wine. I mean, I don't know how much it costs them. I mean, it just costs them a million bucks a year. Hire a couple millennials to do some social media and then some good graphic designers and you have a whole big marketing uh, program that can sell, uh, I don't know, 50% more bottles. I mean, it's it's well designed. I think it's kind of cool. It looks like the, the label's burnt. You see, it's like it was on fire 
Wow, that sure looks, it's not real, it's fake. It's a, it's a graphic design. I don't know, do people need this kind of escape from, from reality to just take them somewhere for five minutes or 10 minutes to escape from, from life? I don't know, I mean, it's just a, a very interesting concept. And to their credit, maybe they tapped into something ahead of the curve so that now every bottle of wine is going to be like some sort of alternative like reality um, experience where oh there's going to be another wine where you can you can be like uh, like sex on the city or whatever it's called that stupid ass show um, like I have a feeling that if this proves to be successful what are these two guys that are looking at each other here um, that maybe like people just are just dissatisfied nowadays with anything that's just normal. Um, I know I'm rambling on and on here. I'm just really upset that my first cut uh, just didn't go through and I'm kind of had to remember what, what, uh, what I was talking about. But we'll get back to, to that. Just ignore the stupid apps and, and experience. I, I, just, I just don't understand why it's even necessary. Um, but I think perhaps and I'll, you know, admit that that there are probably people that that do fall for it. The younger generation, I would suspect, or the really bored anyone else. Don't waste your time. This is a good wine. I don't know yet how I'm going to feel tomorrow. I'm going to maybe check back if I if I kick this bottle, which is about halfway done, and I get into bottle two. I mean, I, I think it's fair. I mean, I, I, I did mention that I was going to review, do these cheap wine reviews based on two bottles exclusively. I may have to relax that uh, that barometer because um, I don't think I'm going to be able to drink two of these either. I'll probably stop somewhere down here on the second one. It's like almost midnight when I'm filming this now, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, did I really talk about much here? No, no, I, I, I did spend some time talking about this brand and I think that's kind of important to know that there are companies out there that are putting a lot of effort into the packaging and delivery of, of a product and they're not even really talking. Like I said, I went on their website, I'm on this laptop here, I cannot find anything, any more information about this bottle. And that kind of bugs me. I just want to know what, like, what they have to say about it. But like I mentioned in my first uh, introduction, blog that the, the wording probably is uh, useless anyway. I mean, do I want to be influenced by what they, they're trying to tell me what this is? Probably not. I should be my own judge <clears throat> and pre present evidence. Consumption, after effects, report. That's it. I'll, I'll come back in a little bit and um, we'll talk more about it. Thank you. Hey. I'm back again. Uh, I think I'm one and a half bottles into this uh, 19 Crimes, the uprising social media wine. I just wanted to um, add a little disclaimer. Here, here, here's my uh, website. Please visit it. I worked really hard at creating it, so and I didn't pay anybody to do it. I just did it myself. Number two. This wine review for this cheap, um, I'm sorry, 19 Crimes, this cheap wine reviews, I should probably add a disclaimer saying that today's, I'm filming this on a Friday in August. I had one of the worst uh, hangovers today and in my original introduction or the one of the first videos I did, I said I should probably not review a wine when I was hung over, had some sort of previous, I said the day, I should take a day off before I, I, I review a wine to see the effects because the whole point of this vlog is to, to, to see how the effects are. So. I had the, one of the worst hangovers of my life today, and I, but I miraculously, you know, recovered very quickly because I don't eat sugar, and that helps you recover very fast. And I also take milk thistle, 
and the saw palmetto and all this all, all the, I take a bunch of supplements um, and I, I kind of recovered very quickly today and it, it happened like almost instantly like I was feeling like crap all day and then all of a sudden whoosh, I felt great and here I am again one and a half bottles of uh, red wine in my gut already so refreshing man so I don't know if my review is gonna be reliable in terms of how I feel tomorrow I'm gonna to probably kick kick the two bottles it's 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 inevitable because I get this second wind or third wind or fifth wind or whatever you want to call it I don't know it's like 1 30 I have no idea what time it is uh, I'll check my computer here but it's like one or two or 12 or I have no idea what time it is. I'm probably gonna kick the two bottles. And I'll bring my camera to bed uh, with me so I can film myself in the morning. By the way, you see these shirts? I made them myself. These are tie-dyes. Anybody wanna uh, you know, make, the, make some for them, just let me know. It's easy, I love it. I and mean, this one's cool. It's, it, I, I'm not sure I like the way the white came out up here, but. These tie dyes I make myself, um, and I what I do is I sleep in my shirt every night. I never put pajamas on, so when I wake up, that's the shirt I went to sleep in. I don't know how many people do that. And some people are like all like uptight about you know, bed sheets. I don't give a flying flick about it. Um, I just go to bed. And I kick my shoes off, socks, take my pants off, and go to bed. Um, that's it. But I may come back one more time. I, I think, I don't know, I'm not sure if there's any other anecdote I want to add to this ridiculously long review already. Um, and by the way, one thing, if you're still with me, if the five people that watch my videos at this point, if you're still with me, these aren't necessarily entirely and exclusively reviews. There's a lot of commentary and whatever stream of thought that comes to my mind included in each one of these videos. That's why I hope I can get a collection of regular um, viewers because it's not just about this product, okay? There's a lot of additional aspects to what I'm talking about like for instance in this particular case it was the the social media marketing and, and the whole packaging of a wine it's not just about how to do taste and like because like who watches wine reviews anyway I mean it, like you want you, you you begin to trust people like if there's somebody you you've, you've actually like respected their reviews and and you can rely on them and then over time as you build a relationship even though you may not be an actual relationship but it is a relationship it's just not interactive it's just hey that person man or woman said something that I, I kind of can relate to and wow they said something I can relate to again and again and again and I see eye to eye with them we have the same kind of wavelength you know what I mean then that's, that's why you follow people. It's not, I mean, a lot of times it can be echo chamber material too, like, right, especially with politics. Oh, you know, I'm a, I'm a liberal or I'm a conservative and, and I like what they have to say because it makes me feel like good. But th this is a little bit different because I'm, I'm talking partially about a product and how it makes me feel physically. And then I, I add little things in into it from, such as like the marketing and I find that either interesting or fascinating or new and, and I'm, I'm almost talking with you here because believe me I don't other than a couple little seeds I plant in my head everything I say here is unscripted always um, so my hope is that over time hopefully sooner rather than later that I can f connect with people organically hopefully that 
sort of have the same kind of or similar mindset or are open-minded enough to, to look at things from different angles and see the facets of what comprise a single kind of entity. It's not just this is wine and this is our app. It's like, like let's just ask why? Why are you doing it? How, how did that come to be? Interesting, like, like this wasn't like this 10 years ago or, or what's it going to be in the future? And so on. So the purpose of this this cheap wine reviews vlog, I mean, like, maybe perhaps I have to change the the the, the title of it. Um, but I don't want to mislead somebody because everybody's used to one thing or another. If I say cheap wine reviews, God knows. I I, I mean, for all intents and purposes, there could be a, a million person like uh, audience out there who just wants 30 second wine reviews because they want to be told what to drink and what's good no I, I have a conversation with myself and and hopefully with with the viewers that, that there is a conversation to be had and thoughts are formed in a very like slow organic way and one of the problems with with technology and social media these days is that that the old school way of where like your concepts and your beliefs were formed like sometimes over years years where you would you would you would waver back and forth you'd say oh i feel this i feel that oh i got some new information from this person personally physically oh i saw this I witness it with my own two eyes in real life, and then and then your 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 ideas and concepts sort of came together like this, like you know, like they would they would iron themselves out over time based on you know experience and and you know trial and error. But nowadays, everybody wants everything now. You want to know is this good? And and then once you like start following and what a lot of people do, are doing out there in this world are uh, they instantly become attracted for some almost 100 percent of the time 99 percent of the time psychological reason like like somebody's like attractive or they have slick video editing skills or they have a great soundtrack or, or th there's so many little features in there that'll get you to want to become attracted or uh, gravitate towards a, a personality or uh, an opinion it's uh, it's disturbing to me a little bit. I mean, like the days of long discussion and, and just ideas that just, you know, kind of simmer over time. You know, it's like, well, let's just put that on, on the back burner. And then there was a reason for it. A back burner, it cooks slower. You didn't rush into things. Um, I'm fascinated by that whole thing. And, and I didn't mean to turn this 19 crimes wine review into a philosophical rant, but that's the beauty of, of doing your own production. If you don't like what I'm talking about, or if you're, this is like, well, what are you, what are you talking about? You could just click it and go to, go to some sort of like rap video if you want, that's fine. Or you can go to someone telling you how to do something without you figuring it out yourself. That's that's all fine with me. I'm gonna do another one of my signature sips here. Mmm. I almost took too much. But I, I'm hoping that my, my little reviews here, and I just came up with this idea actually. Originally, it was gonna, like, I, I did like some seven, eight, nine minute videos, and I said, I'm going to make it two or three minutes, and I did a Rex Goliath, there we go, mentioning Rex, Rex Goliath again, video that was like three and a half minutes. Like, I don't, I'm not really sure yet at this point what I want to make of this channel. I mean, I think a little, a wine review with a little bit of philosophy might be of something fun to do, to, to have a little anecdotes of, of real common sense and real life included in there. Um, like Mr. Rogers or whatever, like, like a conversation with another human being um, and, and my ideas. And I, I hate to, to bring out the, the laundry um, of like 
starting a channel. I mean, I've, I've only, this blog, this blog has only been online for about five, six months, five months or so. Um, and starting a blog in 2018 is extremely difficult. I mean, almost next to impossible. Um, unless you have celebrity connections or you, or you spend almost all your time and you have a budget to, to market and do uh, influencer marketing, which I don't like because it's not real most of the time and it's fleeting at best. And you have to kiss, kiss butt a lot of the times and give stuff away. And I have nothing to give away. I really don't have anything to give away. Hopefully at some point in the future I can get some sponsorships and I can give things away. Maybe there's a wine um, store that might help me out where I can I can attract and you know, get the dog ears like <clears throat> um, up about because people love stuff for free. You know what I mean? So it's God. This this uh, this uh, vlog episode is going to be over half an hour. I, I'm I'm suspecting especially with my morning hangover uh, report. But I speak uh, train of thought and um, stream of thought, whatever you might call it. I just, I just want to um, have some success in this, in this competitive, competitive environment. And it's hard because I believe a lot of people, like I previously alluded to, or, or just want short, short and easy. Nobody like people hardly have enough attention span to watch a show anymore. Like remember the DVR and everybody fast forward through the commercials. Now you have binge watching. You can sit there and there's no commercials. There's no commercials on Netflix, other than like in between episodes you may have a 30 second promo spot. I don't. I'm just assuming because I haven't watched Netflix in uh, I don't know six seven years. Anyway, I'm rambling here. I'll come back if I have more uh, more exciting drink drink uh, updates. But I think I'm gonna kick the two bottles tonight, and and I can do a real hangover review in the morning with the footnote asterisk. By the way, you know how many people say asterisk, 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 um, and I'll I'll have the same outfit on, glasses, hat shirt i'll say ah, i feel like crap tomorrow or i'm like um oh, you know it's not so bad just like the last uh, the first review i said i i did a, the only other video i did was the first one i said oh, i don't feel so bad anyway hopefully someone can find some something appealing about this idea and my personality that that uh you could stay with me i mean Maybe I, if I change my voice like Bob Ross, I'll be like Bob Ross and we're gonna paint, paint a picture now of wine. Maybe if I had a, like a mesmerizing voice, I can get some traction. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Hey, it's like 2 a.m. I just poured my last glass of this. So I've done a two bottle review. Footnote, asterisk, I was really feeling really horrible today. So my review in the morning might be influenced by my previous conditions. Uh, like they say in those stupid pharmaceutical ads, oh, previous conditions or preconditions, whatever the frick they say. Um, but I think this wine was uh, good. $8.99, $9 plus tax, ten, almost $10. A $10 bill you get, give, give you a couple coins in your pocket. $10 a $7.50 is, is, is way higher than we like to pay. Um, and I didn't get into that. In, like, this is like going to turn into like a freaking documentary about this stupid wine. Ideally, again, ideally I like to pay $5 a bottle. That, that's too bad that uh, 19 uh, crimes doesn't doesn't try a 1.5. You know, if this is 8.99, it's nine bucks a bottle. Like 
$14.99 for a 1.5, that would be nice. It's a, it really is a good tasting wine. It truly is. Um, I don't know. I mean, I have a feeling if I if I drink one glass beyond two bottles, I would probably throw up. I mean, cause I, I can feel that <sighs> coming. I mean, it's possible that because of the last night I had, wow. <sighs> Not feeling so swell. Um, no, I'm okay, actually. <clears throat> the whole point is, like, like, think about it. Like, you could have a lot of money and buy, you know, a thirty or forty dollar bottle of wine, bottles of wine, anytime you want. Or you, you could have a lot of money and just want to save your money. And then there's the people that don't have a lot of money and they have to pick from, from a lower end. Like the, that whole spectrum is fascinating to me because, you know, the haves and the have nots. You know, like the have nots who don't have a ton of money are, are, are typically limited. And this is sort of what, what I'm trying to get at here. Um, I mean, we can probably buy a $120 bottle of wine, but I just don't see the logic in it. And like, even if you had the money to burn, you know, some people like light money on fire and ha ha, I have so much money I can burn it. That's, I don't know. I mean, I don't think, even if I had like a hundred million dollars in cash in my house, I don't think I would ever burn it just because I could. I mean, I think that that happens when you run out of things to do, you know, it's, or, or like whatever happens to like just being, you know, pragmatic and just sensible. I mean, it's not about like holding on to your money because you know you're gonna die one of these days. You know, like all of us are gonna just be. A hundred years from now, almost nobody that's on the planet right now is going to be here. That's, that's just one of the most fascinating concepts I have. And I'm trying to put together a piece um, about that fascinating concept. Like, if everybody thought that way, you know, like... Oh, yeah, it's recording. Good. Thank God. Jeez. Um, if everybody thought that way, like, you know, a hundred years from now, you, me, and your brother, and your, his sister, and his cousin, and her her ex-boyfriend, none of us are gonna be here. It, it's just, it, it truly fascinates me. Like it'll be a whole new group of people dealing with their a whole new group of problems that we probably had something to do with, and they know nothing about. It, 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 just, it just fascinates me how each gener or 100 year chunk of people and your generations are typically 20 20 years 25 years generations you know like the millennial the well, what are the other generations um boomers generation x generation z and all this other stuff like nobody really thinks outside the box nobody like how many people, like I love, I asked my father, he's 95 years old, okay, 95. I asked him what he did when I was a kid. How did he raise me? Like what, what were the, 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 the conditions in life, you know? But nobody like alive today really asks, well, what was it like when you were around or, there's so little like interaction between people and just getting different perspectives and viewpoints. And holy crap, I'm really going off on the, on the beaten path here, off the beaten path, because this is supposed to be a cheap wine review, you know what I mean? But I apologize that I've, maybe that's the, that's maybe this 19 crimes uprising wine makes you into a like, more of a philosophical person. 
perhaps. I'll find out how philosophical I am in the morning, but I'm like, mother effer, like what the hell did I do here? Like why did I drink two bottles? My apologies for the ranting, but I've already said that these wine reviews, I, I, I've determined tonight that the wine reviews aren't just gonna be about wine. They're gonna be about wine and philosophy. Maybe I should change the name of the channel for the eight people that are watching this. But I, I think it's a, a fun conversation to have, to have ideas just flowing. You know what I mean? Ideas, like I don't have an objective here. I mean, I, I do sort of, I mean, well, obviously I have an objective to because I would like people to watch me. And making a 40 minute video is gonna, is gonna freaking shoot me in the foot. But, I think for the fact that I'm, I'm putting out just a body of work and having a conversation with a digital screen here, this digital screen is important because there may be some lo like soul out there that wants to uh, hear somebody speak with an interesting shirt like a, that I made by myself. It's like an iris of some kind, like a re weird alien eye. But I'm sure there's someone out there that, that just it's like, hey, they, here's a, a person on the screen, and I'm curious what they have to say. And you know, there's some somebody for everybody. Like there might be somebody that, that enjoys my 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 vernacular or my or my behavior or my body language, whatever. Or like, I am guessing because this is the truth that my kind of personality just this open-minded guy that just rambles on and and talks about things in a in, in a very realistic and and sensible way is is on the on the low end of the scale because i'm not a, a like a fake type person you know by the way the sunglasses the hat and the shirt that's not this is not my style i hate to i hate to throw the good thing is only like zero people will, will find that out because nobody will watch the entire length of this video. But I'm only putting this on just so I'm not discovered out out in the wild. I mean, I, I don't wear this type of hat. I don't wear these type of glasses. I don't wear this kind of shirt. This is my little like uh, YouTube um, like disguise or costume, whatever you want to call it. Everything else here is real. My face, my, you know, whatever. That's all. I, I hope that uh, somebody can, uh, or several, or many, or hundreds or thousands, or hundreds of thousands of people can understand that human beings make this world go around. Well, and all the corporations and governments and military and all that crap. But, God, man, <clears throat> so satisfying to take a big gulp of wine. Anyway, I don't know how this video is gonna edit out, but uh, I drank two bottles of this 19 Crimes, all done. Bye bye, see you later. Wait, well, there's a little bit left. I, I got it all, and then there's two drops. Left. And there's more in here, look at that, wow. Anyway, it's a good wine. Nine bucks a bottle, it's on the high range for us. Um, I'd prefer to pay like 10, 12 bucks tops for two bottles. This was, ended up being close to $20 for two bottles. Your money, your choice. I will try and do some sort of finale. I'm going to sleep in this shirt tonight. I'll do a finale. I'll, I'll, 
like do like a handheld uh, video type thing. Hey guys, I feel like shit. Or I, I, hey guys, I feel pretty good. I'm tired. I'm always tired. I went to bed at the crack of dawn today, 6 a.m., and I woke up at 9.30. Three and a half hours of sleep, screaming babies, and, and there was all sorts of nonsense going on. Holy crap. I really am rambling, aren't I? I'm going to turn it off now, and I'll take a picture in the morning. Hey there. Morning after. I have to say that the uh, 19 crimes wasn't so bad at all, other than being tired, I I'm not feeling bad at all. So it passes the two bottle test and that's about it.